Come to the end of our Advent series, looking for signs of the coming of the Son of Man. As we enter into our last reflection, you perhaps are wondering how long we must wait for this red light to turn green. And Luke's gospel today, the light turned green. Here, Mary sets out to the country and hangs to see her cousin, Elizabeth. Interestingly, Luke does not give us too much detail of Mary's journey. All we know is that Mary moved quickly once she was given the green light to go. When Mary reached Elizabeth, Jesus' cousin John leaped in his mother's womb. Then, filled with the Holy Spirit, Elizabeth gives words to Mary to affirm that the Lord has spoken to Mary. What about you and I? Has the Lord spoken to us this Advent season? Remember, in the first week of Advent, we push, pray until something happens. The second week, we spent time in the desert waiting for the Lord to come to us. And as we waited for the Lord to renew our strength like wings of the eagle, we purge ourselves. We allow God's word to illuminate our minds with his word and then united ourselves with his son. Amen. Now, the third week, we reflected on God's word for us, seeking direction to how to prepare the way of the Lord by restoring dignity to our neighbors remembering our confirmation experience through corporal and spiritual works of mercy. Therefore, on this last Sunday of Advent, the green light is before us. We must go like Mary and see the blessing God has for us. We can't stay at this intersection any longer. Important here is to note that Mary was not paralyzed by the wonder of the Lord's voice. She trusted the voice of the Lord and did what the angel Gabriel told her. Mary's actions here was modeled by other women in the scriptures. Remember the woman at the well? When she met Jesus, she went back to her own town in haste and said, come and see a man who told me everything about me. In the resurrection narrative, the women went back to Galilee and said, He has risen. These women had a green light. All these women moved quickly. They were all eager to see the blessings of the Lord. The light is green now. You and I must go to the streets and help others to gain hope that a Savior is soon to be born. Invite someone to come and worship the Lord this Christmas. Pray with someone. Make it a holy night by sharing what the Lord has done for you. Make a friend, be a friend, and bring that friend to Christ. Church, you want to know the greatest sign of the Son of Man coming? It's you and I. We are that great sign. We are the ones who proclaim that Jesus Christ it's coming. Go tell it on the mountain that there's going to be a holy birth, that Jesus, Emmanuel, the Savior of the world, is here. How do I know? Because Jesus lives in me now. And I must be the sign of the coming of our Lord. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Wonderful, holy counselor. Thank you for being with us for four weeks. 
of praying for the Son of Man to come. Pray with someone. Make it a holy night by sharing what the Lord has done for you. Make a friend and be a friend. Jesus is the reason for the season. You and I are the signs of the Son of Man coming. The green light is on now. We must go and share the goodness of the Lord with everyone. We are grateful that you have spent four weeks with us in prayer. But the green light is on now and we must go forward. And we hope to see you in 2019. Some captive Israel That moans can long